Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be the intro for my new series which is called Makeup for Mensas. And what better way to start off the series than to have my little sister with me. Um, so I'm sure you guys like know who she is on Instagram. Her name is kind of almost similar like mine. Un et un underscore <laughs> et 69. She started doing makeup around the time. Actually you started doing makeup earlier in age than me. Mm -hmm. I was like 14. No, you were 14. Because I remember I convinced my mom to let you wear makeup. And I Mascara. bought you the little benefit thing. The, the blush? Yeah, yeah, so I was I was like, I think I barely turned 14. So she knows a lot about makeup. And I guess I kind of know, I guess, somewhat a lot. Like, I make myself look decent because I look horrible without makeup. And when I, when I wear makeup, like, I obviously look better. Like, it really helps make you look well put together, like you had sleep, whatever. People take you seriously. Like if mm -hmm. you go out on the street looking like shit not wearing makeup, like girls are gonna underestimate you. Like the girls at the mat counter, like when you go on not wearing makeup, yeah. like all of a sudden like they wanna start like showing you. It's like, bitch, I didn't fucking ask you. Like if I want help, I'll ask you, but just give me my fucking lipstick and that's it, you know? Mm -hmm. So when you wear makeup, it's kind of like people People take you a little seriously. It looks like you know what you're doing. Yeah, it looks like you know what you're doing. So it can help you like in your daily life. Um, pretty much this video is going to be kind of like an intro on how to get started with makeup. What to expect. What yeah, what to, to expect. expect. Um, I'm to talk about some of the things that you should know when you're barely getting into makeup. So I hope we answer all of the questions. And we're gonna like force information down your throat. Like we're gonna say it like how it is. Completely honest. Because no one else is saying it. Or like they kind of give hope to people. <laughs> like, oh, you'll learn. It's false hope. Yeah, Honestly. it is. Honestly. No one has made a video like this. No one has made a series like this where you're actually teaching your viewer about makeup. Makeup can only do so much. Like, mm -hmm. Even the higher end makeup, like, it's not going to create fucking miracles. Like, if you have oily skin, you're going to continue to have oily skin. Yeah. Regardless of whatever you use. Like, you can't just rip off your fucking... After an hour, you'll still end up with the same oily skin. Yeah, so I want to make this a long series because I really want to teach you guys because I just... Some of you guys, like, spend lots of money and you don't get use out of your makeup product like you don't have to spend a lot of money you do have to spend a lot of money but there are some products that you can get away with buying like at the swap me or um Drug at rite store. aid or you know but there are some products that you kind of do need to get like on the higher end I'm just gonna go ahead and shut up because i can continue to talk forever and we're gonna go ahead and just start with the video you can't really be taught how to do makeup it's like you kind of have to learn like through yourself, like trial and error, like there's going to be different ways of doing things and you're not always going to do the same things as like Jenny does because it might not work for you. And when she says it might not work for you, meaning like we are all different people. We might like, not have the same skin type. Me and Jenny, we have different skin types. Yeah, like, it might look like that. It might look like we look alike because a lot of people are like, oh my god, you guys look alike. But her foundation color is not the same as mine. She's darker. I yeah. like how I looked at you. Oh, she's darker and her... Her makeup is just going to be a little bit different. Her eye shape is way different than mine. And just because you're watching a tutorial, it doesn't have to come out exactly like how the tutorial comes out. Don't get desperate and be like, oh my god, I don't have that color. I don't have that palette. So it's not going to be nice. It you is going to be nice in your own way. You really just have to improvise. Like Sometimes some lower end products are just as good as some higher end products, but... You guys just automatically assume that you guys like definitely need what that like makeup guru is using, but that's not always necessarily true. And with makeup, it's all trial and error. So you're gonna lose money, you're gonna lose time, you need a lot of patience. It's not something that you're gonna learn in one day. It takes it takes time. And depending on how you pick up on the skill, you're gonna learn a little bit faster than others. But again, it's just like with life, like everybody learns at a different pace. Um, and if you really want to learn, then you're going to sit down and actually teach yourself because no one else is going to teach it for you. 
Like, it's kind of like going to cosmetology school. A lot of people tell me like, oh, I went to cosmetology school. But you really don't learn much until you're actually thrown out into the real world. Like, that's why you don't need to go to school to learn makeup. You don't need to. Like, by law, like, you don't need to, like, a cosmetology license in order to work at a hair salon. By law, like, you need to have a cosmetology license because you're working with chemicals but makeup comes right off you obviously have to be clean and stuff or if you're working on a client and you're not clean like you can get sued you know so that's something that you kind of have to be precautious about but it's not something that you need to go to school for i didn't go to school she didn't go to school either so it's mm -hmm. like you learn along the way i still learn a lot of things yeah. watching youtube videos like you never stop learning because there's new makeup that's coming out um, and there's new people coming out with new techniques so you kind of just always have to keep an open mind. There are different types of makeup looks. So whether you have a little bit of products you're working with, your look is going to look a little bit different than obviously like one that you have all like the high end products and all the good products but that doesn't mean that your makeup is going to look ugly. It just means that your look isn't going to look the same as theirs. But you can slowly save up your money and slowly buy those products to help you achieve the, that look. And when I say that look, I mean like an Amrezy look. Like a Lily Galici. Like a full contoured glammed face. You can't really get a full glammed face with drugstore products. I really don't feel like you can. I've never tried it, but... Maybe that's a challenge that I have to, like, try to do. It's not going to look as good, but I'm going to have to go out of my way and spend money on products that I'm probably not going to use. Maybe not, like, drugstore, but, like, high-end, but not so high-end. Yeah, it's, like, with makeup, you need some low-end, because there's some low-end stuff that's good. You need some high-end and some in-between, and it's just, there's so much that goes into makeup. Like, you can never have enough brushes. Like, every brush has its own purpose. And just because you have one foundation brush doesn't mean that you never have to buy a foundation brush again. Mm -hmm. You know, it just means like, okay, well, this one is a synthetic one and this one is a different one. So this one is a little bit stiffer, so it's going to apply my foundation this way. But this one's a little bit softer, so you can use both of them at the same time. Do not expect to be able to wear mink lashes like nothing. They hurt, they're not comfortable, they're cute as fuck, but it's just, you have to get used to it. Yeah, you have to go based off of your knowledge. So if you're a beginner, like a beginner beginner, I'm not saying you can't wear mink lashes, but you're going to look dumb if you don't put them on the right way. When in, in order to wear very dramatic lashes, like Patrick Star lashes, like glam lashes, you have to have the right placement of shadows on. Even your face, I feel. Yeah, your face has to be very... It has to be very well put together in order to wear mink lashes. You can wear normal lashes. Normal lashes are a little bit harder to wear when you're not wearing any makeup at all. Normal lashes? Yeah, because a lot yeah. of people are like, Oh, I want to wear eyelashes without eyeliner. Just know that when you wear eyelashes without wing liner, it's going to be much harder to put them on and make them look natural like you're not wearing lashes versus when you put on eyelashes when you're wearing wing liner. But with this series, this is just like the intro. We're not really like actually playing with makeup because you guys ac actually have to understand some of the rules that will never change about makeup before you even attempt to put on makeup. And be thankful we're doing this video because I started off as like, Green eyeshadow, let me put it on. So I then, had to walk out of the house looking like fucking a gorilla and be made fun of at school and everything. They used to call me a raccoon because I used to do dark ass, black ass, smoky eyes. And I just, I wanted to because like I just didn't know how and I wanted to do a smoky eye. And people would call me a raccoon. They'd be like, why do you look like a raccoon? Your eyeshadow looks like a raccoon. <laughs> Why were people so mean to you? Dude, people I've were never so been fucked up to me. Like that. Dude, I was bullied like in middle school and in high school people were mean to me too. Now they're like, hey Jenny. I know, right? <laughs> like, oh, like Jenny's like doing it. Like, Bye. everybody knows like I've always been into like makeup and stuff. Like, I don't know why it's a surprise. 
Like I started off literally like from the bottom is what I'm trying to say. And if you really want something, then you can do it. My wing liner was not like how it looks like now when I first started. You picked up on the wing liner um, method way faster than I did. You picked it up quick. It took me like four years to learn. Four years. That's a long time. That is a long time. Instagram videos and like tutorials on how to put, well, maybe not really tutorials on how to put on eyelashes, but mainly like Instagram videos, they make it seem like it's so easy to put on mink lashes or just regular lashes, but you have to be careful because you could glue your eyes shut and oh, they won't yeah. show that. <laughs> yeah. So and they won't show that. Like, I think a lot of the times when people do these videos, either they want to get followers mm -hmm. or they just want to just, you know, show you the lip color. But it's not a real tutorial. I mean, how do you expect people to show you how to do makeup in 15 seconds? Yeah. Like, it's not possible. Um, so with this series, this video is just like an intro or whatever. We're not going to touch up on makeup, like actual like makeup makeup. But in other videos, like we're going to do separate ones, like where it's like just eyelashes. Another video is going to be eye eyeshadow. Another video is going to be eyebrows. So that's when your question will be answered when I get to that actual thing. But right now we're just kind of like setting rules. In general. Yeah, talking about in general. Um, you want to talk about the setting spray, huh? Because somebody asked about a setting spray. Okay, for setting sprays, um, a lot of the times I've... I mean, I've came across people talking negative about setting sprays, any kind really, but you guys really can't expect ex a setting spray to really like protect your makeup from every single thing in the world. You guys need to understand that your makeup is going to end up getting oily, it might get, um, what is that called when it like cracks? Just oh, cracky. Yeah. You're going to get, you're going to crease. Gonna, yeah, you're going to crease, like your lipstick's going to come off, that's just natural. Nothing. No makeup product, nothing is going to like stop that from happening. Whether it says this one lasts 12 hours. Whether or it's this waterproof. One sounds, or this one lasts 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Like These companies are just trying to shove makeup up your ass and just sell their product. There's really nothing special about it. Well, maybe there might be something special about it. I'm not trying to bash on anything like that. But you can't expect miracles from one product. Mm -hmm. And it's usually the girls that like have really, really high expectations, regardless if it's expensive or not. Like, yeah, they have really, really high expectation expectations. Like, why are you gonna have high expectations when you when you don't know how to do makeup? When you know how to do makeup, you make a product work, even if it's shitty. It's fuck. You make it work. Everything works. You just have to know product knowledge and know how the product works in order to make it work. So. When you wear makeup, your lashes are not always going to stay on all the time, no matter what glue you use, no matter what it is. There's a consequence to every single thing that you use. Some foundations are going to break you out. Some primers are going to make you more oily. There's just It's just trial and error. You have to continuously try new products. So that's why when, when you hear people recommending stuff, it might work for them who have who might have dry skin or who might have oily skin but you might have combination you know so it just depends and you are the only one that can actually like grow as an artist or grow with product knowledge is by trying it out yourself and just because you might like it maybe somebody else might not like it but that doesn't mean that you stop wearing it mm -hmm. you know it's about being confident with with who you are and makeup has taught me a lot like within just like doing makeup because sometimes you want to wear something that somebody else isn't wearing because you're embarrassed or you're like oh that's not trending but makeup is a form of expression but it's kind of like been morphing into like oh you have to wear makeup to look hot mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's not really about that or like a certain eyebrow like shape or the way they shade their eyebrows you and usually like memes where it's oh, like, like brow goals, like oh, like all how those people things. like yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. And another thing, there's no lipstick that's gonna stay on forever. Mm -hmm. Like me personally, when I wear lipstick, I always make sure that I don't have the white stuff like coming like on on my lips or none of that because that's when you have to like switch up your lipstick. 
Like, that looks gross when your lipstick is cracking. Mm -hmm. Like, for me, the longest I wear a lip color for is probably maybe, like, three hours, four hours at the most. Even it's a, even then, it's already, like... It's already, like, gross, and it's just not cute. Like, it's just... It's not cute. And it you only want to, like... You want to wear it because you're too lazy to take it off. Mm -hmm. And then another thing. This is going to come off, like, when you eat or when you use a napkin and you wipe your lips... You're not going to have foundation on right here. Like, your contour is going to kind of come off. Mm -hmm. So, you think setting spray is going to fucking prevent the napkin from... You know, there's just some things that you have to deal with. Like, oh, how do I stop this from creasing? It's going to crease. Like, what do you recommend? It's it's going to happen. It's going to crease. Gonna like, happen. mine is creasing right now. My makeup creases all the time. But that's when you have to carry around a little brush and blend it out or add a little bit more powder. Like, even if you pay $1,000 to get your makeup done, it's physically impossible because your body produces fluids on your face and it mixes with the product. So it's not going to be flawless the whole day. It's not going to last all day. When I wear makeup, I have to make sure I don't touch my face. Mm -hmm. If I have boogers and I have to, like, wipe my nose, I'll go like this. I'll grab my nail, I'll scoop the booger from up here, <laughs> like the awa, like if I'm like getting sick, and I'll flick it. Because if I get a napkin and I go like this, like I just spent an hour and a half doing my makeup, and I go like this, your makeup is going to come off your nose. That's why I try not to do too much of a contour on my nose, mm -hmm. because then your fucking nose disappears. Yeah. You, you really can't do anything when you have a full face of makeup on. Being realistic, you really can't. Like, if you have gloss on and you have a boyfriend and you kiss him, it's going to mess up yours and you're going to get lip gloss on him. If you hug someone, you're probably going to rub off a little bit of your makeup on their on shirt. Them, and it's going to come <laughs> off of you. Yeah. If you cry, your eyelashes are going to come off. Even if you yawn, honestly, and your eyes get watery, mm -hmm. it'll most likely come off. I, guess, I think that's the number one question that is never going to end how do i match my foundation <laughs> honestly honestly it's super hard to get like the right shape and like foundation. for reals like to be really honest with you your foundation is never going to match 100 percent you either have to deal with yourself looking a little bit pinker, a little yellow, a little tan, or a little bit too light. And you have to work with it. So if it's a little bit too light, what you're going to do is you're going to add some warmth to your face. And that's when the bronzers come in. That's when the cream contour comes in to even it out. If your foundation is too yellow, then guess what? Your concealer that you use to highlight has to be something that's much lighter than what you're using so all the other products are pretty much meant for like making up your foundation if it doesn't match like you can you can make your foundation look like it does ma match you with like your bronzer your blush your highlighter like you just gotta you just make, have to work with it yeah and i noticed and this used to happen to me a lot when you're trying to get your makeup perfect or in your head perfect when there's no such thing as perfect you kind of start and you're like oh my god I don't like how it's coming off coming out and you take it off mm -hmm. and then you do it again oh my god I don't like how it's coming out and you take it off realistically if you're going to school if you're going to work if you're fucking getting married I don't know whatever the case is you make it work because just because you do a little mess up right here doesn't mean that the rest of your face is going to be messed up. You know, you just kind of have to deal with it and move on. Like, life moves on. Because sometimes I don't like the way my eyebrows come out. But I'm like, it's not horrible, but it's not perfect. But I only have 30 minutes to do my makeup. So either I don't wear any makeup at all, or I just improvise and just, you make it work. Um, how to cover pimples. You can only cover pimples so much. But in order to completely cover a pimple, you have to color correct. Color correct first, and then you move on with your foundation. 
but the bump is still gonna be there mm -hmm. like naturally your oil is gonna produce even more on the little pimple so that's eventually gonna peek through within like an hour so you can't always 100% cover them maybe you can cover them 80% but there's nothing that's gonna be like a miracle and please, 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 oh my god, a lot of people fucking do this shit, dude. It fucking bothers me so much. They have a pimple, right? And they're like, oh, I need a concealer to cover my pimple. And they don't really have they don't really do their makeup a lot or anything. So they have a pimple, they have their little concealer, and the concealer is like really warm as fuck. Mm -hmm. And they just and then it, like, like they just put it right here and it oxidizes and there's a little fucking manchita <laughs> of like color. And it's like, you're not wearing any makeup. Mm -hmm. In order to cover something, you have to do it the right way. Meaning, like, if you add a product, you have to even it out. Like, some girls, they, they're like, oh, I can't leave my house without my eyebrows. Unless you are you have no eyebrows, like, at all, whatsoever. Please don't fill in your eyebrows and leave your house without at least adding mascara. Like, your eyebrows aren't as dark like that naturally. So why are you trying to force it? And fucking putting a lot of shit in your eyebrows. Bye. A lot of the time people are like, oh, like, I want a really, like, natural makeup look. I hope you guys know that natural makeup, like, natural looking makeup probably uses way more makeup than, like, glam makeup. If you guys want natural makeup, just don't wear makeup. Yes. I have something to say. <laughs> natural makeup means like like furls like legit natural makeup is just mascara mm -hmm. and lip gloss or some chapstick that's natural like when i think of natural that's natural mm -hmm. but when you're going for like a natural glam look people use a shitload of fucking products you're gonna feel like you're wearing makeup but it's like the no makeup makeup look but you're still wearing just as much makeup as you would Right, but when it's put on the right way. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that they're expecting to look like they're only wearing mascara and lip gloss. Oh, and not with, feel with like not, they're wearing yeah, makeup. Okay. Without feeling like they're wearing a lot of makeup. Yeah, wearing makeup is uncomfortable, and it's going to feel uncomfortable. But that's just the consequence of wearing makeup. There's rules. Those are the rules that you kind of have to live by. But <laughs> you are both like... I know, I'm like... <laughs> More Dude, products. beauty blenders are expensive. Huh? 25 or 30? Beauty blenders are expensive. But they're a must-have. Like, you have to mm -hmm. have a beauty blender. Like, beauty blenders have changed the makeup world. When they first came out, dude, I was like, oh, I'm going to try it. Out? They came out a couple years ago when, like, the whole YouTuber thing wasn't, like, super big. Really? I mean, it was big. Like, there are still, like, people that, like, were big. Like, Michelle. No, I mean, like, Nicole Guerrero and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Ew, your face is too itchy. Because <laughs> she I'm tried to... Fuck keep... <laughs> <laughs> <Like> you. <laughs> she tried to... <laughs> she tried to keep in her yawn. Like, so she would have messed up the video. <laughs> and she was twitching. Like, it... <laughs> Like it probably came out in the video. Dude, you were like this. You were like <laughs> And I was like, what the fuck are you trying? Like just yawn, dude. You look worse trying to hold it in. Cause it's it's kinda late. Like I've been filming all day. We've been like really busy, but back when I was a college student and I didn't have enough money to like spend on stuff I would watch like 40 reviews on one $20 product dude to fully convince me to buy like, the okay, product good. so I was like should I use a beauty blender I don't know like people are saying like because I was always used to putting my foundation on with my hands what? <laughs> ew dude I have to it's like Ew! You were disgusting. You're fucking wearing my fur coat. <laughs> and and you're on my ass. And you're on my fucking towel that I shower with. Yeah, first of all, it's not on my ass either. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> and then I bought it. And it worked so yeah. good. So you need to. Like, there's no ifs, ands, buts. I don't care if you wear a little bit of makeup. I don't give a fuck. You need a beauty blender. You need it.
Did we already talk about when girls just like when girls try to go out wearing some makeup and but they look they, they yeah but not all of it and the reason why i think girls do that is to kind of make it seem like oh look i did half of my makeup but i still i'm still presentable and you can't do that like sometimes when girls just wear foundation and just leave their house they look like michael jackson yeah you look like a powdered do powder yeah. ass donut it's like you know when you take a shit, like, you have to wipe your ass, like, maybe four or five times. Like, sometimes six if you have chorro or something. That's like wiping your ass once, putting back your underwear on, and walking out of the house. Like, that is disgusting. <laughs> that's how that's that's how strongly I feel about girls that just do a little bit of their makeup. Like, eyeshadow and no mascara. And then the eyeshadow particles are all chilling on yeah. the eyelashes. Yeah. Oh my god. And their eyelashes are dusty and then as when fuck they look right down, there. It's and like... you're just looking. And I'm like. I hate. Dude, I that's hate, gross. I hate. I hate when people just wear lipstick. And nothing oh else. Oh my god, dude. Like a, a bold ass oh lip. Oh my god. I know. You can't do that. It's just like, I hope you know, you probably look worse than... Than not wearing makeup not wearing at all. Not wearing makeup at all, yeah. Straight up. Like, you want you want to know what you look like? This is what you look like. Because I was trying on a liquid lipstick the other day. And I had on no makeup. Dude, it looks horrible. Look. <laughs> like, I hope you guys can see how horrible I look. Like, girls, <laughs> hold on, you can see right there. Like, that's wearing no makeup with a dark-ass lipstick. Dude, then you're like... <laughs> like, that's how you're going to look. Like, you know? And a lot of girls always comment like, Oh my god, you look so different without makeup. Like, imagine what you would look like with the makeup that I do. Mm -hmm. Like, everyone is going to look much better with makeup on. Why do you think celebrities pay these makeup artists a shitload of money? Everybody looks the same without makeup. Obviously, not fabulous. And when you see models, like on magazines or anything, where it looks like they're only wearing mascara and lip gloss, and we're just like, oh my god, they're just naturally beautiful, they're naturally blessed, blah, blah, blah. No. Like, you know how much editing goes behind a photo shoot? Like, those girls have on a shitload of concealer, fucking basic makeup, but they have on product on their face. They don't look like that naturally, you know? So we all have our flaws. You're not going to look perfect. So I think that's that kind of covers, like, the basic stuff that you guys need to know prior to starting how to do makeup or if you're just a beginner in general. Um because these are some of the things that like i said you should know and you need to know and you need to kind of engrave in your little brain mm -hmm. so that way you don't disappoint yourself in the future if that makes sense um so for the series to come i'm obviously going to be uploading um videos on different subjects so you know one day we're going to talk about eyelashes uh, when we're going to talk about eyebrows and pretty much everything and hopefully at the end of the series I don't know how many videos are going to be in this series because there's a lot to learn for makeup um, You just you're just going to see them as they are uploaded um, And I hope to have my sister in every makeup for Mensa's episode Well, if you're not busy, I guess if you're just here, we'll just be like, oh, I'm filming this video mm -hmm. I'm not sure what the next episode will be. Maybe I'll probably talk about skincare. That's kind of like something that you need to fix before you even before, put on your yeah. makeup. So it'd be like primers and like moisturizers. moisturizers and stuff before we get into foundations. I suck at ending videos. So bye. <laughs>